Welcome at tutorial number 5 of the computer-aided railway modeler called SCARM. In tutorial 4 we saw how we can copy and paste a selection to simply and quickly create a more complex track. And we also tried to rotate the track but there is no rotate function. In this tutorial we are going to see how we can work around that. Let's open SCARM and let's create a start point by clicking the red arrow in the toolbar and click in the layout. Let's just add a one or two straight tracks to that and suppose that our task was not to have these straights horizontal but to have them on a 30 degree angle. Well the obvious way to think is that there could be or should be a rotate function but there isn't. The workaround is that you simply create a start point with the correct orientation. The question is however how to do that. Well there is a toolbox for that and we can uh, get to that via the tools menu and then toolbox. Uh, ok over here we see a toolbox and the start point has x, y and angle coordinates. So let's suggest that I want to create a new start point at coordinate 0, uh, 0 at an uh, angle of 30 degrees. Let's see what happens. Well, not much happens. Oh, over here I see a tiny red uh, dot. Oh, that is coordinate 0, 0. How can I quickly zoom in? Well, let's just connect something to it and hit slash, then I get it in view. What I see, actually, it is pointing down. I thought 30 degrees would uh, be pointing up, which is normal for clockwise uh, rotation. So what we learned now is that for some unknown reason, SCARM has the degrees inverted. If I want to go up 30 degrees, I will have to create a start point. Uh, so let me first delete this track. I create a start point at minus 30 degrees and see what happens. Yes, now it is pointing up. Let's pan a little bit. That is by middle clicking the mouse. Uh, let's now double click to select this track. Hit control, left click and move and connect it to the start point. And now you see we have neatly rotated our track. So it's not a very complex task. Suppose that I lay a new start point at 10, 10 and at a 45 degree angle. Uh, there it is. I simply uh, move my track, connect it and there you have the new orientation. So there is no need for a rotate function. You can simply type in the exact angle you need and connect the track to it. Ok, let's delete this and let's see how we can rotate a complete layout. In the previous tutorial we created a nice oval with two stations on it, two side tracks. I uh, hit the uh, icon for file open and I find my tutorial back again. Here it is. And the task now is say uh, that we want to have this not uh, oriented horizontally but on a 45 degree angle. Ok, let's do that. Let's uh, have a start point at 45 degree angle which in SCARM is minus 45 degree. I place the new start point. I don't see it, it's out of range of my screen so what I do is simply connect, well let's take a 188 track uh, to connect to it and then hit the slash key to zoom to fit. Then I see where it is. Ok, what I can do now is simply delete one of the 188's, double click the whole track, control and keep it pressed, left click and move it over here, it snaps and hit slash to have zoom to fit and you see that my whole layout is now rotated exactly 45 degrees. That is how we rotate a track or a whole layout in SCARM. See you in tutorial number 6 when we are going to build a rather complex layout within 5 minutes.